In this video, I'll show you the basics of UTM parameters and how you can use UTM code to improve your marketing analytics and make better marketing decisions. UTM or urchin tracking module parameters are also called UTM tags or codes, and they're just small bits of code that you can add to the end of a standard URL to track clicks on specific links. The URLs containing a UTM code work just like any other clickable link. Google Analytics uses those codes to differentiate and track each URL, and then it gathers the data like the number of visitors, traffic sources, conversions, and more. There are five tags in UTM codes. The last two are optional. The source code tag shows you the source where your visitors are coming from. Now, that might be places like Google, Facebook, Twitter, or your email marketing provider. The medium tag is used to identify the medium of your traffic, like email, social media, or ads. The campaign tag is a term that you select to use as an identifier for your initiative. Now, this could be things like your newsletter, a spring sale, or a product launch. The term tag helps identify a keyword that connects it to the traffic that it generates. So if you're running a pay-per-click ad, then you could use this tag to identify the keyword attributed to the traffic. And finally, the content tag helps identify which element was clicked. For example, the footer CTA or a header banner. Now let's look at four examples of using UTM parameters in different campaigns. First, we'll look at measuring social media ROI. So, for example, if you're running a big summer sale, then you plan on posting it on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Then you'd want to use a UTM parameter on each post with different sources to show which network of traffic it's coming from. Now, if you're using summer sale for your campaign term, then you can see all the posts under the same campaign in Google Analytics. And then you can compare them to see which social network is doing the best at driving traffic. If you're making posts on various channels, then you could use that content tag to describe which post it is. For example, Sunday morning or sweaters or something like that. In these three posts on the Easy Digital Downloads Facebook page, you'll see that they're having a sale for Black Friday Cyber Monday. You'll also notice that all three posts are tagged as a part of the BFCM or Black Friday Cyber Monday campaign. But you'll also notice that the content tags give each post a unique UTM. You can add UTM tags to your URL and any email to get insight about its performance. You could use your email client like Constant Contact or MailChimp as a source and then have email for the medium and whichever campaign makes sense for the message, like newsletter or summer sale. And then you could use a content tag to describe which button or link that the visitor clicked on in your email, like the red button or the header logo. Now, if you're running paid ad campaigns, you want to know which ad placement's working the best. UTM parameters allow you to know which website and ad locations bring in the most traffic and conversions. So suppose you're running two different banner ads for the same product, and you might have one ad in the sidebar and another in the content. You can use UTM tags to show you how many clicks and conversions each separate ad is getting, even though they're on the same page. And that will help you to hone your advertising budget and focus on getting the best converting placement. You can use UTM parameters to determine which call to action generates the most conversions too. Using UTM parameters on your CTAs allow you to see which one's getting the most clicks and conversions, and then use that data to improve your site and do some A-B testing. Now, there are two ways that you can create UTM codes for Google Analytics. You can either type them in manually or use a URL builder tool. Now, creating them manually is risky. Now, UTM codes can get very lengthy, and there's a chance you're gonna make a mistake, and as a result, your data will not be organized correctly. So it's just much easier to create a UTM tag using a URL builder tool in WordPress like Monster Insights. Now, to use the Monster Insights campaign URL builder, just enter the required fields and then copy the custom URL that it creates for you. So let's say that you're going to run a campaign for Black Friday. Here's an example of what you could enter into the URL builder. Now, the UTM campaign builder will generate a URL for you, and then all you have to do is just copy the link and use it in your promotion. Now, let's see how to find your UTM Google Analytics reports in Google Analytics 4. Just head over to Acquisition and then Traffic Acquisition, and then click the drop-down to change the dimension to Session. Now you can see all of your campaigns listed, and if you'd like to see the source and medium for each campaign, 
Just add it to the report by clicking the blue plus sign next to the drop down and then search Select Session Source Media. Now, using the data that you've collected, you've got a clear picture of your sources, traffic, campaign performance, and the user's behavior, and then you can use that data to optimize your marketing efforts. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why we're used by more than 3 million websites. Get a special discount by visiting the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.